Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover improper fractions and what they are. Now when it comes to improper fractions, these are fractions where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So the top number is greater than or equal to the bottom number. Improper fractions hold a value equal to or greater than a whole. So let's jump into a few examples here to help us better understand improper fractions. In number one, we have eight fifths. So you can see that our top number is greater than the bottom number. Therefore, we have an improper fraction. Let's take a look at modeling this fraction to show how it is greater than one whole. So 8 fifths, I have um, two whole rectangles to the right here. So we need to fill in 8 fifths. Each rectangle is cut into fifths, so we need to fill in 8. So for example, this would be 1 fifth, and we have 2 three, four, and five. So right now we're at five fifths, five out of five filled in. And I wanna mention, whenever we have the same number up top as we do the bottom, um, when it comes to fractions, we have an improper fraction and that fraction equals one whole. So whenever you have the same number on the top and bottom, it equals one whole. But we need to continue here for number one because we need to get to eight. So this would be six, seven, and eight fifths. So you can see that we have one whole rectangle filled in and then one, two, three fifths. So eight fifths equals one and three fifths. And we can see that that has a value greater than one whole. It's an improper fraction. So let's take a look at another example. For number two, we have nine fourths. So 9 fourths, the numerator, the top number, is greater than the denominator, the bottom number. So we have an improper fraction. And this improper fraction's value is going to be greater than one whole. If we were to have, I want to mention this again because it's important, if we were to have 4 over 4, remember, same number up top and below equals one whole. But in the case of number two, nine fourths, that top number is greater than the bottom. So this is going to be greater than a whole. And let's model this one. So we have holes to the right here, whole circles, and they are each cut into fourths. So we need to fill in nine fourths. So one, two, three, and four fourths. So you can see one hole there. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have two whole circles filled in, and then right here, we have one fourth. So nine fourths equals two and one fourth. So uh, I wanna mention that this is an improper fraction. Now, right over here where we have a whole number and a fraction, that's called a mixed number. And improper fractions and mixed numbers are equivalent, one is just in complete fractional form, and then the other shows the whole number plus the fractional form. But 9 fourths and 2 and a fourth are equivalent. Just like number 1, 8 fifths and 1 and 3 fifths are equivalent. So as far as number 2, I'll wrap this one up by saying that we proved that 9 fourths is greater than a whole there. And again, we had an improper fraction because the numerator was greater than the denominator. So let's move on to number three, where we have four choices, A, B, C, and D, and we need to pick out which ones are improper. So let's start with A, where we have six sixths. So our numerator, the top number, is the exact same as the denominator. Therefore, this fraction equals one whole. And in the case of this, our numerator is equal to the denominator. So we have an improper fraction. Choice B, we have 17 over 33. So the numerator is less than the denominator. That's what we call a proper fraction. So this is not improper. Now choice C, our numerator 42 is greater than our denominator of 20. So we have an improper fraction there. And lastly, D, we have one over 65. So the numerator is less than the denominator Choice D is proper, therefore not improper. 
So there you have it. There is a brief introduction into improper fractions and some examples to show exactly um, what they look like and what they are. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.